I really don't understand that's accepted into society and I just don't know how it ever got accepted is when you walk on the train as a woman and men don't get up for you to sit down. I actually don't get it. It's okay for men to be sitting on the train while women are standing up. It gets worse when a seat becomes available and a man sits down and lets a woman still stand up. I think you mean that it's not fun for you to be yelling at guys for opening doors for you lately and they'll show you what 50 over 50 really means. Do you love equal rights? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see Modern Women Share Their Experience Dating Older Men. Let's get started right away. All right, y'all, the pros and cons of dating an older guy. Starting with the pros. Number one, they tend to be more experienced. Number two, they tend to be more mature. Number three, they tend to be willing or more willing to settle down quicker. Number four, they tend to be more financially stable. Number five, they tend to know more about what they want in life and in women. Number five, they tend to be more direct and honest. Ain't trying to play games. All right, y'all, now for the pro. Oh, now for the cons, I mean. <laughs> Let's get into it. Number one, they may be more possessive. Number two, they may be more controlling. Number three, they may have more baggage. Number four, they may be more critical of you. Number five, they may have way less tolerance for the drama. They ain't trying to deal with all that. Number six, they may be way more manipulative. They have probably played every game you could think of five times over. You're not going to beat them at it. Wow, that list of pros and cons for meeting older men is really helpful. Plus, they're pretty much the dating world's wise old men. All of them are financially stable and ready to settle down. Because who wouldn't want to retire early? But on the other hand, they could be possessive, controlling, and have a lot of mental baggage. It sounds like an exciting ride through adulthood and mind games. When you date a seasoned veteran, you have to choose between the security they offer and the thrill of possibly being on their reality show, Who's Got the Most Issues? Really? An interesting problem. I just want to know, where do all the single men hang out at? Ladies, I have figured out where the men hang out at. Number one is they are at home building their empire until their queen comes along, meaning that they are sick and tired of women taking away stuff from them, um, using them, taking their money, spending their money. So they just want to be sure that they will just wait till the right person comes along. Second is they're at home because they've been hurt in the past and because one woman has hurt them, they decide to be a crybaby and stay home and they just don't trust women at all and think they're all the same and they'd rather just kind of be in their bedroom and be emotional and deal with their feelings. So they're at home. And then third place is they're at home, just avoiding people, they're at home. So in conclusion, ladies, um, single men are at home. That's all. Stay at home. Simple. She got mean about the fact that she can't find a guy after crying in so many videos about it. It's not up to me to say if that's a good plan or not. It's not likely, I think. But if you think that calling the men you want crybabies will make them quickly ask you to marry them, then you go, queen. If you're dating older guys thinking that you're going to have more success in dating, you're lying to yourself. Dating older does not mean that they want to settle down or have their shit together. And in fact, that's what you should be looking for as opposed to their age. I've been in San Diego for the past week and went on two dates while I was there, which is more dates than I've been on pretty much through the entire year. One was 41. We planned this date prior to. And then the other one was 35. Ran into each other, met each other. He took me out on a date the next night. These two were a world of fucking different. Date number one with a 41 year old had everything planned out. Planned the date, picked the place sent me the place made sure it was good the vibe was super cute immaculate taste he sent me an uber not just an uber but an uber black we love the effort it's not necessary but it's definitely appreciated he shows up a little bit beforehand puts his card down beforehand so i don't even see it their check didn't even come to the table okay it was already taken care of him he's like are you ready to go and i'm like wait what like don't we have to pay and he's like oh no i already took care of it this is the type of big dick energy that we love to see take care of it if the bill even hits the table and i have to fidget for my wallet just take care of it beforehand sneak off to the restroom take care of it man if you're watching this 
it makes a world of difference i felt very safe and taken care of in this moment no one's ever done that love the effort and then he sent me another uber on my way home by myself he had to walk home because i was using his uber account at the time that is the type of effort we love to see date number two did not remotely show up this way date number two with a 35 year old i basically ran into him and his friends the night before while i was having dinner by myself and they asked me to come have a drink with them and i was like why not not the type of people that i would usually hang out with but i'm like i'm out of town i'm feeling a little spontaneous let's do it me and this one guy in the group were kind of hitting it off he got my number at the end of the night texted me let's do drinks tomorrow night he went out with his buddies to dinner i'm like we could have just did dinner like that's weird but anyway Drinks is fine, it's not the end of the world. And I was like, where are we meeting up? We go back and forth, we're both from out of town. They just make a fucking plan. Guys, it's really not that hard to fucking Google a place, figure out where you wanna go just for a drink. I will say though that we had a good time. It was fine for what it was. Never gonna see him again. Here's the thing. He's 35, just broke up with his ex about a month ago, which is fine, whatever. But he's like, I broke up with her because she wanted to have kids, her clock was ticking, and I'm just like not ready for that because there's still some financial goals that I wanna hit and I don't really like what I'm doing for a living. Ladies, if he's in his 30s or older and does not have it figured out, just keep it moving because he's never going to figure it out. And if he does, it's going to be way too late. A man's not gonna feel secure in a relationship if he doesn't like what he does, if he doesn't know who he is, and if he doesn't like how much money he's making. And age does not play into this at all. I've met 40 year olds, 30 year olds that still have yet to figure it out. And I've met 20 year olds that have it all going on that are ready to settle down. But you have to be able to weed out the bullshit. And not just look at their age. So some women think that just because a man is older, that automatically makes him a better partner. And girls, I'm here to tell you that a man's age doesn't mean he's smarter, more mature, or more likely to be a good partner, treat you better, or spend money on you. A man will only be a good partner if he chooses to be one. Another thing women should be wary of are older men who date younger women just for fun and don't want to build a relationship with them. Never let a man, no matter how old, waste the best years of your life. Oh, I know. Suck the life out of me. I'm not going to do it. Why do you want to be a jerk in your 20s and 30s? You're now 50 years old and single because you were dating everyone in town. The only person that cares about a body count is an insecure person that's interested in you, but not in the count. Let me explain. The only reason these people care is because they're comparing themselves to people in your past, whether they know them or not. It's just more people from your past that they have to compete with. And just know 99.9% .9 of the time, if you ask someone their body count, they're gonna lie. Why? Because it's none of your damn business. So stop asking body counts. You look pathetic. The past is in the past. Level up. That's not getting better. That's getting very small to your level. Since I've lived for a long time, I know that the more bodies there are, the more likely it is that she will cheat or get a divorce. Also, I've been around for a while and know that the women with few bodies never try to explain their past or say that it doesn't matter. Six now, and I reflect all the time. And I think one of the greatest mistakes that I made in my early 20s was dating older men, like dating a guy five years older than me, dating a guy 10 years older than me, dating a guy 12 years older than me. That's a story time for another time. But if your eldest daughter, especially immigrant parents' daughter, and you're also like a natural people pleaser, it's like one of the worst things you can do for yourself. Oh, and also, if one of your highest requirements for finding a partner is that you respect them. Like that, that's gotta be the worst combination because you meet this man that's older than you and automatically you assume because he has these things that he should have at his grown age. You're like, oh my God, like he, he has a car? He has a 401k? And you respect this man, right? And then you want to make yourself seem worthy of his respect too. So you start bending over backwards and doing all these things for them. In reality, they're just a regular guy at his appropriate age having the things that he should already have at that age i know i know you want that oppa lifestyle but i'm telling you if you're in your early 20s just just date someone your age better yet date someone younger that's 18 plus because oh girl oh girl yes definitely dating older guys when you were in your early 20s must have been a huge mistake i mean who wouldn't wish they dated someone with a 401k and a car instead of someone with a bus pass and a TikTok addiction. Respecting someone just because they've learned how to be an adult by their age is obviously the worst thing you can do.
Who would have thought that a guy with life experience could offer more than, you know, security and direction? Choose someone who can barely rent a car without charging extra the next time. Try to find someone who still thinks of ramen as an unusual meal. That's definitely where the real fun and growth are. For the girls that are looking for a man that can provide financial, financial security, let's have a conversation. Let's have a talk. So a while ago, I was watching a video where this girl that I follow that have luxury lifestyle and she promotes luxury and she's with an older man, right? Girl, her life is nice. Zine, a life that I would want for myself. He pays for everything. Sis got pregnant and it looks like such man left her right where she's about to have the baby. And I'm not bashing old girl because I actually, you know what I mean? Like it can happen to anybody. But what I'm saying is you have to, you have to be smart. Zane, so if you're going to date a guy that is older or whatever, your age, whatever, to provide you with financial security, you have to use, you have to use your head. Make sure say, yeah, save. Save. It's nice to buy nice things, but if he's giving you allowances, save, save, save. And to even be smarter, use that money that he's providing you with to get an education, get a degree, level up yourself in secrecy. Or not even secrecy, but level up yourself. Because at the end of the day, if he's 60 and you're 25, he's going to be looking for the newer, younger, next flashy thing next week. Right? So save up the money. Go on a school. Work on yourself. Right? Because... In the event that this man provide you know with a lifestyle that you've gotten used to now you're used to the nice car you're used to the nice apartment you used to go into fancy restaurants and he leaves you now you have to start back from scratch and you don't have the money to know maintain this lifestyle it will cause depression like it will put you in a state of depression right so just collect the money because boy the money here he wants him want you for your son and you want him for money like let's be real here like it goes both ways because why would a 25 year old girl decide to check a day with a 60 year old man if one of him provide her with some kind of security so collect the money and be smart and the thing is in the event that you do get knocked up because think about it you know this man probably already have kids that are older than you him no want to raise another family so if you get knocked up, you have to be prepared to either raise this kid by yourself or dash it away. You have to be prepared. You have to get into these relationships thinking about the possibility that this man wants you because you are young and exciting for him. But he's not willing to commit to you. So you got to think about all these things when you're getting in these situations. So use him as a temporary setup. A temporary step up for you to get to your next goal in life and it's so unfortunate and it's so unfair to think about somebody in that regard but you have to be logical because not everything that glows is diamond oh yes getting a rich sugar daddy who gives out allowances like Santa Claus is the dream come true of course these luxury lifestyle experts don't usually end up pregnant and alone do they for sure a guy who gives you a lot of money, values long-term relationships over the latest trend. And what a brilliant idea, stealing money in secret to pay for school. It's like making plans for how to get out of a fancy gold cage. Yes, girls, make sure you save enough money to live on after he trades you in for a newer model. It's all about getting ready for the unavoidable downgrade after an upgrade. If you like this show, please click like to let other people know about it. If you click the bell, you'll know when I post new pictures. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Come back to this page to watch more videos of people running into walls.